everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, second week of July reading start from the 8th through the 14th of July 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time uh, starting today. Uh, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and you can also check out my sister's tarot channel. I will be adding the link to that in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's get started. Let's see what is coming up for Scorpions for this week time. I will be adding one Oracle card as well. So stay tuned. But no charms. Yep. See what is coming up for you guys. Somebody's feeling strong emotions for someone because I could see the King of Cups there. So it can be your energy, it can be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. So just pick how it is resonating with you. But yes, somebody is feeling strong emotions for the other person. Let's see what cards. King of Fawns, the Fool, Three of Swords. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I need the deck to have the Devil. Wow. I would like to take a quick card for this Three of Swords here. Somebody is finding it really hard to stay away from uh, someone for sure. Um, wow, I do see strong, passionate energies coming up for you in your love life with a specific someone. Uh, and I do see some sort of a new beginning with this person. Um, this person is somebody uh, from your past because with the justice paired up with this Queen of Wands and there is this King of uh, Wands, it seems like, you know, it's high time the justice is going to be given to this connection that you have with a specific someone. I do see you uh, meeting up. For majority of you if not then you are definitely going to be talking to this person starting anew with this person i do see very passionate energy here so i do see maybe sexual energies is like you know going to be the thing for you for for this week time with this person again but i feel like you know um you are feeling so drawn towards this person whoever it is um Your emotions are getting strong for this person. You you really want to do justice to them this time around. I feel like, you know, if this person is somebody that you already know, which I believe it is because with the justice, like I said, um, it's it's going to be a new beginning between the two of you. But it's, it's going to be like um, very, uh, very passionate, sexual, um addictive kind of a new beginning between the two of you because with the devil underneath the deck and uh, six of pentacles underneath that it's going to be so addictive and so balanced this time that it is going to be like uh, something that you cannot expect coming from uh from this person you know uh or you know you cannot imagine having this kind of strong emotion or you know a uh, connection with this person it's, it's going to be something magical between you and this person I do see that you two are definitely going to, um, for some of you, you are going to meet this person and then the, the sexual chemistry between the two of you is going to be the thing which is going to take this connection to the next level. For others of you, you and this person meeting, talking, um, there will be something, uh, something very uh, addictive in this meeting that you're going to have with this person which is going to make you feel like you need more of this person. It's going to be that kind of thing where you want more and more of this person. This situation is going to, um, this situation is going to bring you to closer. Um, you are going to start feeling, even though I don't see love in the beginning uh, when you meet this person, but yes, as you move towards the end of the week, I do see that you would have, you know, you would have your emotions, like, you know, building up for this person. Um, maybe, you know, even if this is somebody from your past, I feel like, you know, you are talking to this person in the beginning of the week as if, you know, as you are having fun, like, you know, you want to have fun, you are flirtatious uh, towards this person. But as you move forward into the, into the end of the week, I do see that this connection is going to get something more uh, meaningful. And 
I do see the communication, the the meeting is going to be, uh, it's it's going to be the the key to this new connection that you're going to have with this person. Um, it's altogether a different uh, phase of your life, which is going to start with this person now. Um, you wouldn't like this person to be, uh, you know, you are going to be very possessive about this person this time. And again, the emotions, the feelings that you have for this person is so um, different than how you used to have for the same person. It's it's gonna be like you know um, you are going to consider uh, this person to be the one for you. For some reasons, maybe you have rejected this person in the past, or maybe you have rejected uh, to to be in a relationship with this person. But maybe you were physical uh, physically okay with this person, like you know maybe you had uh, you know physical connection, physical relationship, sexual energies between the two of you. You might have had that kind of connection, but you were never ready to to let it be more than that. But now it's changing. Um, your emotions are changing towards this person. It was like maybe sexual before, but now it's it's something more uh, you know meaningful and soulful than that. And I do see you share uh, the same energy towards each other. It might have been one-sided uh, in the past, but now it's going to be mutual. Let's take one more card to the sun. Wow. Yes. There, this, there is this uh, new beginning with the same old person in your life. And this new beginning is definitely going to be something... Uh, that you cannot even imagine as of now. When you're starting talking to this person during this week time, you might have already been in touch with this person, but if not, uh, then you are going to start communicating with this person. And with the passage of time, with with you know, in in the in the in a, in a few days time, I would say it's not going to take long. If especially if you meet, then it's it's gonna you know happen that way. If you are talking, it, it might take a little longer than this week time. But if you are meeting this person during this week time, it's just going to go towards what you want with this person. But August is going to be the month for the two of you where you are going to be officially together. Be that in engagement, be that in um, committed relationship, be that in marriage. But yes, August is going to be the time when you would be taking this connection to the next level for sure. So there is like, you know... Uh, uh, you know, there is this uh, reconciliation energies. It's going to start with the with the random flirtatious talks. But towards the end of the week, it's going to get intensified where, you know, the person is going to, you know, maybe you are going to feel love towards this person if you have been the one holding yourself back. If the, uh, the it, it has been coming from the other person, then they are going to be more expressive about their feelings towards you. And they are going to feel love for you. And that's how it's going to go towards the next level. So just pick whichever side of the story you relate more to. But yes, the connection that you have with this specific someone from your past is definitely taking the, uh, taking the uh, you know, moving towards the next step for sure. As you know, you starting off the week with the, a random flirtatious talk. At the end of the week, you will have some strong uh, emotions, love for this person. As you move towards the month of uh, August, you will be taking this connection for the next uh, to the next level for sure. So let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys for this week time. Wow, you will be very addicted to each uh, addicted to each other. Plus, there will be this um, extremely passionate energy that you are going to have for each other. You will be feeling pulled towards each other. You will be fantasizing each other. You will be having sex, maybe sexting as well with this person. But yes, I do see very strong. Uh, sexual plus uh, addicted uh, kind of energies between the two of you. You know, it's, it's going to be that kind of a thing. Very, uh, and, and maybe you have not experienced this in recent times with anyone. And let's see. Joy is the ultimate creator. You are going to have a lot of fun with this person. And you are creating this, you know, uh, beautiful time of your life with this person. And it's, it's, it's just the start. And I do see you uh, both evolving into a couple, a married one, is what I'm picking up very uh, strongly here. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. 
If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you are willing to get a personal reading, you can always do that by reaching out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.